Which Cuban pitcher was the first to win 20 games? Folks, welcome to the Friday the 13th edition of Baseball Brew Haha. So, no witches brew in store here, but just coffee. Um, I, I don't know. Something weird going to break out here? I have no clue. But let's see what we got here. Adam, what's our question? Um, we have which Cuban pitcher was first to win 20 games? Mm. We have Orlando Hernandez, Dolph uh, Le, Le, Q, Le Cue? Yeah, sure. Uh, Camilo Pascual? Pascal? Mm -hmm. Pascal or Louis, was, yeah. Louis Tiant? Whew. That's we uh here. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of these guys were good pitchers, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm actually going to go with Pascual, I think. Okay. And I, I'm gonna I go, don't know. I'm going to go Tiant on this one. Okay. Really good pitcher back in the day. Mm -hmm. Like Red Sox, I think. Yep. Um, let's take a look. So you got Pascal. I got Tia. The correct answer is Dolph. Okay. Of course, this is a guy that nobody's, <laughs> that I've not heard yeah. of. So, uh, A 5 7 righty. Uh, finished 27 and 8 with the Reds in 1923. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, in, interesting little note there of, you know, thinking about like Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier, but we've got a Cuban guy here. Um, uh -huh. Just a fascinating history with uh, uh, players from different countries. and. Uh, yeah. So interesting. I've been, um, I've been reading a book. It's over there. I can't grab it. Otherwise I would, but I think it's called Playing America's Game. And it mm -hmm. talks about this exact this exact thing where we had you had the the racial issues, uh, but Cubans or Latin players were different. If their skin was light enough, then they would sort of like pass. Same with like Native Americans, like they would pass as white enough to play. And um, and it was like this. It was a, just a weird. I mean, looking back on it now, it's like. It's bizarre. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, but you know, you're like trying to figure out like exactly like how pale is his skin? You know, does he pass? So, um, so yeah, it's like so kind of surprising here, but like, you know, for me, when I picture pitch, picture a Cuban player, it's like Adolis Garcia. It's like, it's guys that are much darker complexion. Um, but that wasn't always the case. And, and so here this, you know, interesting little, little i hadn't heard of dolph but this is exactly the book that i'm reading yeah <laughs> that's talking about this exact issue so yeah well additional fun fact for dolph on that season finished led the league with a 1.93 era the league average that year was 3.99 almost a four era so dolph had himself a a great year. So we both come up empty in the fifth here, Friday the 13th. That makes sense, you know. It's fitting. Friday the 13th, fitting, yeah. nothing, nothing doing there. So we're four to one heading into the weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, Aaron, you're running out of innings, but we got, got a little time left here. Yeah, I, I got a, I mean, zero, one surrounded by zeros. So. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Um, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Who knows what we have, but it won't be Friday the 13th, so it'll be a, it'll be a little less scary. <laughs> Come find out, folks. <laughs> See ya.